Hi everybody. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks. I know it's been insane for me anyway. Um, I've had some people come into town. I've had a lot of appointments and I have been meditating and talking to the team, my guides. Um, and just, it's just one thing after another, which that's okay. Sometimes we have to learn balance some way or another. And, you know, if we don't, they'll just shove a whole bunch of stuff on us until we balance ourselves out and figure it out. So, um, I do think that, uh, one of the big things that my guides want me to express lately, um, what they have been talking to me about quite a bit is discernment and how important it is that we learn to discern energy coming from people. There will be a lot of people able um, to be woken up to the energies that are coming in, the power that it brings, and um, we have to know, uh, what are they using it for? Are they, are they doing this for the good of humanity? Are they doing it for some other reasons? Pardon me. Um, so you have to uh, discern how to um, read energy, how people make you feel. And we have that capability. Have you ever walked into a room or um, into a movie theater and, you know, there was somebody sitting there and you just kind of did not want to sit beside them or you felt kind of standoffish or you felt, you, you know, maybe you needed to go sit somewhere else or something. Um, that's real, you know, that's you feeling something your spirit is telling you to feel. And we could also say, uh, you know, time is, time is not linear like we think it is. It's in these fractals and we can pull it from here. So, you know, our, every moment is a now moment. Your birth and your death are happening at the same time and everything in between. So maybe you have already gone into the movie theater and maybe you've already sat beside that person that you didn't feel very good about and maybe it's because you've already done it and maybe because you found out that that person is extremely sick and just coughs all over you and makes you extremely sick so you know that's why you have this energy of don't sit next to them or you know it could be anything um you know it could just be a hunch a feeling it could be something whispered in your ear these are these are ways that your spirit talks to you and um, the more you meditate and the more you open your clairvoyance and your clairaudience and your clairsentience, the more you feel things, the more, um, the more you know you, <laughs> the more you figure out who you are, then the easier it is to f speak and to have a contact um, with your higher self or with spirit or any entity um, that you wish to gain knowledge from these things are very very true um, you have to give yourself time you have to give yourself credit you have to believe in yourself and know that you know if you've had that hunch before it wasn't taken away that gift of that knowing wasn't given to you and then now it doesn't work anymore you know you still have that so you know have you ever had um, something happen like you wish you heard the song on the radio and the very next song came on the radio was the song that you wanted to play or maybe you um, are thinking about somebody and then they call on the phone or text you all of these things all of these things are gifts that you have that don't go away they always always are there we just have to learn how to use them and how it speaks to us and um, and, and no, just believe in yourself because again, they're not given to you just to be taken away the next moment. You have, you have beautiful, wonderful potential, every single one of us, every single one of us. And my beautiful light workers, that's what we're here for is to spread that knowledge and that beauty with everybody else, with our friends and our family members. And um, that's what I think BQH is, is, 
you know, quantum hypnosis for people who really want to figure out some of these things, you know, through their own experience, you know, BQH is beyond quantum healing. It's, it's a hypnosis that can be done remotely in the comfort of your own home. You know, I can be here, you can be there and, and we can do this thing, um, comfortably and with love, with pure intentions. It's, um, it's a way of communicating with your higher self. It's a way of getting answers on spiritual knowledge, galactic wisdom, uh, you know, your guides, your teams, anything, anything that you wish to know. It's a, it can accelerate a healing modalities. You can be um, healed faster through BQH and you can get answers to any physical healings that you uh, have questions about. BQH is something that is spanning the globe now and can be done um, to open up a sense of knowing inside of yourself, a sense of remembrance, I should say, which is um, also helping you discern energies because that's what's really important, what's coming through, the knowledge that's coming through. Um, the many people that are understanding that there is more out there, you know, a lot of times they may be tricked. You know, I've seen uh, some friends who've been maybe tricked by some certain energies. Um, and I won't, I won't say that it was necessarily a bad thing. Um, a, or a certain way to perceive it could definitely see it as a bad thing, but... Um, you know, this trickster ended up showing my friends some things that really need to be shown and unfortunately had to be do, had to show her in a sort of dramatic, chaotic kind of way, but um, message received and, you know, sometimes that's how, how things come across. But what I'm saying is it doesn't have to. We don't have to go through chaos or trauma to hear a message, to get the point. Um, usually going through those things is because they have exhausted all other options to get a message through. And now they will use the trickster to get your attention. Um, that's okay. That's okay if that's what gets us to where we need to be. And um, knowing that your intentions are pure, knowing um, th that going and being in your heart space, which is so important, so important. When you are your higher self, what would your higher self do? You know, do you remember that well, WWJD? Um, well, what would your higher self do? What would, you know, in any situation, what would the being of love say in this situation? You know, even in a horrible situation, things that are dark and ugly, things you don't want to see, things you don't want to experience, um, that I know a lot of you are seeing and experiencing, and my brightest light goes out to anybody who needs it, and pull from it, pull from this video, know that I have light to give, and I am right now pulsating, pulsating it out to whoever needs it to light up any corner um, I do it with love, I do it with hugs, I do it with compassion, um, because that's the only thing that will work. We should know that by now. Not more war, or more ugly words, or anything like that. Um, again, take what you need. I'm giving that to you. So, But uh, try BQH, try finding out what um, your own higher self has to say to you. I do this by donation basis. Um, you can ask questions. Uh, put my email down below. I am in the process of getting my website set up, so um, there will be a place for you guys to go to here shortly um, that we can uh, you can see more things and get to know me a little bit better. 
on your own time, um, anytime. But if you are interested in being hypnotized, know that I can do that from here and you there and we can set this up and it can be done in a way that suits you, in a way that you can afford and what works for you right now. Um, I believe that that might be what you need. I did, uh, I did a session last week I wanted to tell you guys about. Anything can happen during these sessions. Um, this happened to be uh, a client who was a little nervous. She did not have anything to say. Her higher self basically refused to say anything. However, at the same time, um, there were these beams of light that she was seeing uh, that kept piercing her and pulsating brighter. And we could experiment with these lights that she would see and they would change colors. And I could say the word love and we could watch the lights get bigger and I could say children or um, chakras. We would say um, some negative words as well that didn't work and you know they would get dimmer and you know but every single time these lights they would pierce she felt that they were they would pierce her and it would shine and she would constantly just crying because she felt peaceful she said it feels like I am receiving the exact same thing that I gave that I felt giving when I held my newborn baby for the first time. There was this unconditional love that she felt when she held her baby. And she felt when these lights were surrounding her that that's what they were giving to her, this unconditional love. And it went on for a good 45 minutes. Um, not a lot of conversation happening, but a lot of healing, a lot of beauty, a lot of knowingness downloads that will unfold over time anything can happen in these sessions these are amazing experiences i had another client who has uh, diverticulitis and some problems in her in her stomach region and she wanted to know some information uh, about what that was about so we start the session and after the induction took place um, we were taken back to maybe around the 1800s not real sure exactly where maybe greece or someplace overlooking um, large bodies of water feel hills and everything but there she was a little girl and um she remember noticing how wonderful everybody was dressed. She was begging for things and she just wished that she could be like the other people. She was tired and she was hungry and she lived in a little cubby corner on the street and um, just she just remembered not having anything and not having much and I moved her along into the lifetime and to the death of this lifetime and she remembered just crawling up on the side of the hill um oh she did she had picked up a bone a chicken bone of some sort maybe and um ate that and there was the bone that got stuck in her stomach because she had ate, ate it fast um and she crawled it didn't satisfy her uh, she she had crawled up and went to sleep and didn't wake up in this lifetime and I I asked the higher self to come in at that point and the higher self came in and um, I asked what was the point was it the bone you know that caused the problem and and not necessarily was it the bone that got stuck that was causing the problem but the fact that she and how she ate it and uh, not not having enough and then being in a state of wanting and showing her that um, in the lifetimes after that, including this lifetime, she's she's overcompensating um, her lack of not having in that lifetime, and she's overcompensating 
what she eats and how she eats in this lifetime um, that is causing her problems. And they did a healing on her. And um, from what I understand, she's since got herself a new user and she's planning on working really hard on changing her diet. And um, she feels healthier. She feels strong enough in that sense that she would be able to move forward knowing um, what that was like. And the little child, Cynthia, that um, had passed away in this um, session is now meditated over and love is sent to her and there's a healing done in a quantum way and a quantum reality that's multi-dimensionality that's what we're working on and that's what bqh can give us it can teach us to be multi-dimensional beings and i suggest if you have questions on any of that to give me a call my email is down below um email me ask any questions we can set something up we can talk about it um, you just let me know if that's something that interests you um, going within going within asking questions and going within instead of asking anything else from without that's what's going to get you where you need to be that's what's going to get you able to be clairvoyant or be able to channel or be able to connect that's what's going to get you to be able to live the life that you need these energies coming in right now that's what this is about is moving forward moving moving forward in your heart center in your heart space and and pulling everything that you know and logically and pulling out all down so you can logically know with compassion and with love with everything you know, um, what's going on right now is um, love is being pierced. Love and light is being pierced. We, <clears throat> we light workers are holding this. We're able to hold this and retain this energy so that we can send it, you know, where it's needed into these dark corners and um, it keeps coming in. These waves of energies keeps coming in. And right now, um, it's piercing some dark corners. So what's going on is that these things are coming up to the surface. So you'll notice um, not just everyone around you, but even us light workers might be quick to jump to the defense, you know, um, maybe a little quicker to anger, quick uh, to hit that emotional trigger. You know, we have to remember that that's just because we're holding more light and we're just trying to get rid of this so try not to be quick to anger try not to be defensive if you are know that it's just a trickster trying to show you what it is that you need to work on if you, if someone wants to come to me and say that lady is a demon she's obviously talking to spirits and she needs you know, she needs to go to church, you know, God bless her. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. They can think that. Because guess what? I know my own truth and I know what works for me and I know what doesn't work for me. And what they say won't affect me. And I can love them through whatever they're going through. Because if they feel that they have a need to tell somebody else what they need and how to live their life, then... It's just a mirror for what they need. They need to go within and look and look at their life from a personal perspective, a perspective of self, not another's perspective. That's really important. So going within and digging out these quick to angers and quick to jump to the defense, um, those little guys, they want to fight hard to stay in the dark. They want to keep us down on these frequencies that no longer serve us. And here in December, our job will be to be patient, to be kind, let the holiday shoppers shop as fast as they need to shop and go where they need to go. Just let them through. 
Send them lots of love. Be kind. And know, let these people know that there's good people in the world. Let you be that good people for them. Be the good. That's our job. And it's so much fun to be the good. I have a goal that every time I go shopping, you know, whether it's to Walmart or, you know, to the grocery store or wherever it is that the cashier knows how beautiful they are and how wonderful they're appreciated, how grateful I am that they got me through the line with a smile on their face. And if they don't have a smile on their face, make it your job to put a smile on their face. See if you can do it. You know, see if you can get them to kind of laugh. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, do, you know, whatever you need to do because when you start doing that to people, you're reflecting who you are on the inside. Think about it. I wanted to just kind of um, end off with a little bitty thing that I was getting um, from the guides. It says, you are benevolent beings of light. You do not yet remember fully who you truly are and what you are here to do. You are like an alarm clock, for you are the wake-up call for humanity to evolve. It is a time for evolution. As more and more are waking up to more power, you must learn discernment. You must learn who is using the energy through their heart centers for the betterment of humanity. And this is the time to go within, to learn how spirit speaks to you, makes you feel, for the love that your guides have for you will never, ever lead you astray. So, with much love, and much guidance, for anybody who wants a BQH session, for anybody who wants card readings, for anybody who would just like a soul journey reading, let me know. I can do these things and I do them through donation because I want you to grow and learn what Spirit has in store for you. I want you to feel the happiness that you are supposed to be feeling every single day, the joy, the, the calm, everything that can be in your life right now. I want you to have that too. Um, much love and light. Bye.